Hey guys, what's up? It's Madel here and welcome back for another video on my channel. So today I'm doing another tutorial video. So since my last tutorial video on Blender, how to do like a Minecraft character and like a pose, a position, that got a lot of questions and I didn't answer a lot of them because I'm really bad at explaining stuff. So I thought I'm going to make another video about this. So here we go. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you're new to my channel and you never saw that video, well, the first thing you need to do to get your Minecraft character posing in a thumbnail is you have to download the program Blender. So just download this version of Blender, um, do an installer. I would do an installer. And there we go, it's downloading. So it will take a little bit to download. Another thing that you'll probably need to download is WinRAR. WinRAR is so you can manage your files and see where you can drag things in, just so you can, you know, basically display your files better. So I think you should download this, but I don't, you don't have to, you can use like 7-zip or something else, but you just want to get English and whatever bit computer you have. I have a 64, but I don't think it matters too much, but I'm just going to click English and download it. So while you're doing this, you need to actually get a base for your Minecraft character. So you want to get Timmy's rig. Now this is what we used last time, except it's the updated version. So it's a lot easier to use, sorts out a lot of issues. It's the rig 6.4. So you just download it for free, but you will have to share it on Twitter. So if you don't have Twitter, this could be an issue, but I'm just going to tweet it out on one of my profiles. There we go. Done. So now this is given advertising for it and now we have to put in our email address. I'm just going to put it in my, my usual one. So then it'll send you a notification to your Gmail account and you just have to accept it and then you got your account. <laughs> and here we go. So now we just have to go download product. Download. And we're done. So this one will download a lot faster than Blender so we're just going to have to wait until they're done. All this stuff is safe and it shouldn't warn you about anything because it is all accepted. I have a virus software and it tells me something isn't safe. So this is all safe. So my uploads just finished all downloading. So the first thing we're going to download is Blender. I'm going to show you guys the installation process of this. It also will give you a little message if you're using Norton that it is safe. So don't worry. I have no space on my computer to reinstall this, <laughs> but I already have it installed. So Basically, you just run through, click yes, click where you want to save it, and you're done. And then all you have to do then is just install WinRAR. I already have this installed as well. I guess that's why I wasn't letting me install Blender, but you will be able to do it. Basically, what you would do with any program if you were going to install it, basically, you just click it, say yes, and it will download and install into your computer, and it is safe. Then you want to open up Timmy's rig. Now, you don't actually have to do anything with this, so you just leave it off to the side. So now you want to open up where you saved Blender. It might be in your downloads folder. It might be in your documents. It could be anywhere, but I've got mine on my desktop. So I'm just going to double click it and it will open itself up. So now what you need to do is you need to go to where you have your Timmy's rig. Oh yeah, also make sure you download WinRAR. Make sure you download WinRAR before you download Timmy's rig because you need to make sure you get it in the WinRAR format. So now what you want to do is you want to go into the WinRAR file of Timmy's rig and you want to go to rigs and then you want to grab this rig that's a blender file and just drag it in. So you just hold, you just click it, hold it down with your left mouse thing and you just drag and drop it. So this is what it will come up with. So then you want to click reload trusted at the top round right hand corner of the screen and click revert. As soon as you've clicked revert, you can stretch this out and you'll see that it's just a pink skin. Obviously you don't want that. So what you want to do now is go over to the mesh options on the left hand side of the screen and click browse to find a new skin. So you have to make sure you get a skin format for this. I'm just going to grab my Madela Pug skin because might as well. So this is what your skin will look like, but you probably don't want your skin with your hands down like that. You probably want it moving around or something. So you can also click to make it a curvy character if you want. I'm just going to leave mine off. But then, so if you want to move the arms around, also the way you, the way you move around in Blender is using your scroll, your scrolly mousey thingy, and then holding it down will rotate the screen. So now what you want to do is to move an arm, for example, you right click on it. So then what you want to do is you want to click the arm with your right cursor and then click R twice and you can drag it up to make it have a bend. Then you can also click up the upper top of the arm with your right cursor and click R to make it go this way and R 
to make it go like that. And to secure it in place, you press left click. You can also bring it up into the face with just fiddling around a bit. So now I've got my character grabbing for their mouth, but like you can do whatever you want with yours. And then you can change the legs by right clicking the bottom part of the leg. And then you click your right mouse cursor and you can drag the leg up and then you just move your mouse around to change the position of your mouse. Now I like just having a little knee bend. You can also click on the face and you can change where it is by clicking R once to move it side to side and you can click R twice to move it up and down. I'm going to have mine like that. Then if you want your character to lean forward you can click the stomach and you click R to move them in and this one to move them around, oh my gosh. So now we can move down on the sidebar and we can add armor to this. So we can add gold hat and you can click nine. You can add any kind of stuff. You can add leather and you can change the color of leather. So you could make it white, you could make it pink, yellow, blue, whatever you want. So I'm gonna leave this on just as an example, but I'm probably gonna make the blue lighter. You can also do legs and you can also do feet. Now everyone always asks me, how do you add a mouth? Now I used to always add an overlay and put it on when I was making a thumbnail, but the way that you can make a face is if you click enable face. Now because I have my eyes on, so this format of face does not fit what my skin is because I have my eyes showing and my onesie covers up where the eyes would be on the skin. So when I get it, it it's like in the wrong position, there's the eyebrows and the eyes are like here and they don't fit well so I don't usually use those I just use the mouth so what you want to do with the mouth is you want to right click it then drag it out with your right click and it will add some kind of mouth now I'm gonna make my mouth pretty small maybe just like that and then you can right click it and drag it down and then release with the right click and it, let it go with left click so now you're probably wondering how to make it smile and sad so then you just have to click it again, click R, and it'll move it up and down for you. I'm going to have mine as happy. So there we go. So now we have a render. So now all we have to do is go over to the side of your screen, the right-hand side, and click the camera. This will probably make yours not respond like it does with mine, but I have a really bad computer, so I don't know. But yeah, so now I have it clicked. Now you can go down and change if you want it transparent or not. But obviously you can take turn that off. That'll make the background white. But obviously I want my transparent on so I can merge it into thumbnails. So then all you have to do is click render. So here's your skin. It will render and it will take a long time if you have a bad computer. But mine already takes a long time. My computer's reasonably okay. So it could take up to a minute, five minutes to about, could even be an hour. Depends on how bad your computer is. But so I'm going to show you the end result of another one, but this one will go for a long time. But as soon as you're done with your render and it's saved and it's done, it'll say it's done at the top. It won't be having all this happen anymore. All you have to do is click image and then click save as image. It will come up while it's stopped rendering. So here is one of the results that I've done before on the render. So I've got my clothes on. I didn't change my legs this time. I've also got a mouth worried and I've got... Just everything layered in and that's exactly how yours will turn out if you follow the steps that I just showed you. Also with this, you do not have to move the camera around. As you saw, I didn't even bother moving the camera because it sets it up for you yourself. So you don't have to worry about that. A lot of people did message me of those issues. But thank you guys for all watching this tutorial on Timmy's Rig V6 Blender tutorial thingy, my bob. If the, you did find this helpful, please tell me in the comments and even tweet me how yours turned out because I do want to make sure everyone did get it working. And if I don't reply to you, if you need help, it's probably because I can't explain it, but I may look into making a new video like I did today. But I'll try my best to help everybody out. So I hope you guys did all find this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in another video. Also, thank you for 3,000 subscribers, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!